Living every day in your head for the day you can drop away. But I will not hear you scream. You can break the keys. Spread the toxicity of a world outside reality. In your room, a little hideaway. Would you let it through? Enough to go insane. Living in the dark hasn't treated you. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fight
Welcome to the Throttle Up Racing Network. Tonight we're at Talladega with the Pelican Snowball Super Speedway Championship Race. I tell you, tonight we've got a good one. Four guys fighting for a championship. These guys have raced all year. They've raced through the playoffs or down to four. And those four tonight are Colin Willems in the number 17. There he is, Colin Willems. That's the car you're looking for if you're a Colin Willems fan. James Kunkel in the 48. There he is. Logan Hagerman in the number seven. And Kyle Mays in the 55. That's not gotten into the session yet. He's logged in, but hasn't made a lap, so. We're getting ready to go to qualifying. Carl Burke was fastest in practice. We'll see where he winds up in qualifying. Zach McBride, uh, first one out on the track. There's Josh Hall as well out there. Mick Olson, he's getting up to speed. Tony Brennan in the 65. Josh Hall in the 81. All these guys getting up speed. None of our championship contenders out there yet to make their qualifying laps. Zach McBride's number 46. Mark Shapers in the 15. He's out on track. Everyone getting up to speed. No one's made a timed lap yet. Nick Olson will be the first one to do so when he gets around here. Fifty-five one five for Olson. Brennan second quickest. James Kunkel the first of our championship four out on track to make his qualifying lap. As he gets up to speed. Kyle Mays, he rolls off and he'll start his first time lap in the number 55. Up on the high side, trying to build as much speed as he can for his second lap. Colin Willems out on track. He's getting up to speed. Going to take his time doing so. Dave, right now, right now, top of the board. A 54.876 on his first lap. Second time around. 54.996, a little slower on the second lap. 
for Dave Wright. Todd Mays in 25. He'll roll out and get going. Will Witt in the 35. There he is in that Penzl car. It's Cody Moore in the 52. He's running that top line as well. Kyle Mays on his first time lap. He's running the bottom now. 10th quickest. A 55, 562. A 54, 950, fifth quickest for Kyle Mays. James Kunkel, seventh quickest. Down on the apron, trying to gain as much time as possible. The 54, 9, 9, 3, he won't move. He'll sit seventh. Colin Willems, 11th quickest on the first lap. He'll run the bottom lane the second time around. 55, 8, 3, 9 on his first lap. Holds that thing so steady through the corner. Holds it right to the bottom. And across the line, that number 17, he will move to ninth quickest. Brian Merle Jr., he'll set the fast time on his first lap. The quick time there for Brian Merle Jr. A little slower on the second lap, so an absolute blistering first lap. But Brian Merle Jr. puts him on pole. Will Witt, he'll cross the line second time around, 54-8-8-5. As Cody Moore will move up to fourth. Will Witt, he's now to fourth. Cody Moore down to fifth, and Todd Mays will set the pole time. Logan Hagerman, sixth quickest. Already choosing to run his number forward. What we're going to see next year in NASCAR. Right down against the grass. Hagerman on the second lap. As Loving will set the pole speed. Hagerman will stay where he's at on his second lap. Steve Loving on the pole now, number 27. Going to be a Probably a little bit slower on the second lap. That's what we've seen trending so far. Nick Mather of 5589 on his first lap. Fifty-five oh three two. We'll move him up to sixteenth quickest. Keith Miller. He's out there in the number thirty. He's down there on the apron. 
All these guys riding against the grass. Second lap a little slower for Keith Miller. Derek Chaput in the number 37 out there on track now. May have waited a little too long to get a second lap, but he'll get a first lap in. As we're nearing the end of qualifying. Sixteenth quickest for Derek Chapu and the number thirty-seven. About twenty-four seconds left. I think he's gonna run out of time before he'll be able to make a second lap, but we'll keep with him. And there we go. So your pole sitter, Steve Loving. Set the fast time on the pole as we're getting ready to go through the grid. Take a look at the weather on the right side of the screen. Cloudy, 72 degrees, 104 on the track temp, so it should be very grippy for these guys. Able to slice and dice their way up through the field. Andrew Polstetter for tonight is Steve Loving in the number 27. Starting in second spot, Todd Mays, the number 25. Brian Merle Jr., the 74, he'll start third spot. Dave Wright in fourth in the number 84. Will Witt, he'll start fifth in number 35, Penzoil Carr. Cody Moore, an unsponsored number 52, he'll start sixth. The first of our championship four, starting in seventh spot, it's Logan Hagerman. Carl Burke, he'll start in eighth spot in the number 53. Mark Shavers will start ninth in the number 15 car. Zach McBride in the 46. He will start in 10th spot. Joseph Wright in the 82. He'll start 11th position. Kyle Mays, the second of our championship four contenders. In the number 55, he'll start 12th position. Keith Miller in the 30. He'll start 13th position. James Kunkel, the third of our championship four He'll start 14th and number 48, James Kunkel. Colin Willems, he rounds out our chase field or our championship four in the number 17. He'll start 15th position. Derek Chaput will start 16th. 17th is Nick Mather. 18th, Josh Hall. Tony Brennan will start 19th, Mick Olson. 20th, TJ Floyd, 21st, uh, Cameron Austin will be 22nd, Devin Bacino will be 23rd, Davis DeBenny, number 28, is our 24th position, Michael Provault will be 25th, and Brandon White in 26th position. So up front, Steve Loving, he'll lead us off. Once again, our championship four in eighth position or seventh position, Logan Hagerman. Kyle Mays in the 55, starting in 12th spot. James Kunkel in 14th in the 48. 
And Colin Willems in 15th in the number 17 car. Those are the four that we're going to be keeping with you tonight. 70 laps here at Talladega. It should be a wild one. Hopefully we'll get some green flag racing. Let's see if these guys choose to be aggressive early on. Or are they going to sit back and ride for a while? Will our championship four choose to move to the front? Or will they kind of play it safe? We'll see. 70 laps ahead of us. Green flag for Steve Loving. He brings him on down. There it is. There's the green flag. Steve Loving takes off, and we are underway here at Talladega in the Pelican Snowball Super Speedway Championship Race. Logan Hagerman, he's already moving up, up to fifth position. Everybody up in the front, kind of playing it safe. There goes Dave Wright. He'll move up to the outside. He's trying to move up to the lead. Now we've got a few more moving along with them. The 82 up there, that's Joseph Wright. Three wide, Zach McBride on the high side. That number 46, nobody really up there with him. The 27, he chooses to move out of the way. He's going to fall all the way to the back. He's probably going to lose the draft. That was an interesting decision. Everyone up front getting a little bit hectic. Steve Loving wants to be there at the end. Another one choosing to drop back. That's Keith Miller in the number 30. The front, Dave Wright in the lead, the 84. Behind him is Joseph Wright in the 82. We're on board, Dave Wright looking back. Here comes Logan Hagerman up on the high lane. The 15 of Mark Shaver is giving the push. Can he get ahead of Dave Wright for the lead? Todd May is going to take it three wide. And everybody going to go with him. Cody Moore up on the high side as well. For Logan Hagerman, there's just nowhere to go. Stuck in the middle. Still getting a push from the 15 of Mark Shavers. Hagerman starting to pull ahead of the third lane at least. Even with the second car in the inside line. Now with a decent run, they're going to pull even to the leader. Mark Shavers is kind of pinching that upper lane. We're still three wide from fifth on back. Now the 82 will jump into the high lane. He's going for the lead. Joseph Wright and David Wright now side by side for the front position. Joseph Wright jumps back down to the inside line. Able to pull off the pass. Now can Logan Hagerman get out front? He's there. Will he choose to move down? 
He will. Hagerman to the inside. They're four wide. Cody Moore wisely backs out of it. it could have caused a big one. Mark Shavers leading the middle lane. The outside lane lost a lot of momentum. The one of our championship four is out front. The second in the championship cars right now is James Kunkel. Currently running in 11th position. Cody Moore may have had an issue. Oh, looks like he may have been having a connection issue and was trying to get out of the way. Hit that outside wall. Locked him up and then towed to the pits. So, an issue for the 52. He's in the pit lane on the tow timer. The 82 of Joseph Wright moves back into the lead. Mark Shaver still leading the outside line. Now he may get shuffled out. The 37 moves to the middle. Todd Mays trying to get up there and push the 15 in the third lane. Logan Hagerman waiting to make his move to try and get back to the lead. He'll push the 82 of Joseph Wright, trying to keep him out front. The 37 of Derek Chaput trying to make a move on the outside lane. The 81 of jo Josh Hall pushing that outside lane right now. Another championship contender making it three wide back here. The 17 of Colin Willems up on the high lane. He'll have to drop back in line. Mark Shavers looks like he's going to try and go with him as he's going to still bring it three wide down the front stretch. He's going to try anyway. Kyle Mays will move up the middle lane and go around the 17. Oh, a couple of those guys very close to 17 right against the outside wall. He's continued to fade backwards. Todd Mays now behind him trying to push him back up to the front. We saw him drop back earlier, but Steve Loving has dropped completely off the pace. And he is half a lap down right now. He is one that is hoping for a caution sometime soon to get back into the main draft. He is way behind the rest of the field, and, and lap times are four seconds off the pace. Hagerman still in second spot as the 82 of Joseph Wright moves to the high lane to try and block off the run from Derek Chaput. Hagerman will take the position. 84, Dave Wright giving a push. Derek Shabu may have shuffled the 82 out. The 82 will go to the high lane with his teammate Josh Hall in the 81. And they'll try and hold it strong in the outside lane. And 
They are three wide from front to back right now. Oh, the 81 hits the outside wall. The 25's involved. No caution as all cars continue moving forward. There it is. There is the caution. And that's exactly what the 27 was hoping for of Steve Loving. You see the distance and how far behind he is. Let's go back and take a look. They're already up in the wall at that point. You see the 81 center screen just gets up into that outside wall. The 25 nowhere really to go. Looks like he got on the break. That looked like maybe a net code between the 81 and the 25. And Josh Hall trying his best to not wreck in front of the field. Hits the outside wall. More damage to the nose of Todd Mays. Then he spins down the track. Nobody else really involved besides the 81 and the 25. The 12 laps in, we'll see who chooses to come in and take a fuel stop here. Everybody coming down pit lane. If you stay out. That's interesting. 12 laps in. You see the cars that stayed out there. Logan Hagerman, he's in the pits. Brown Merle Jr., he's going to be the first out. Dave Wright, second. Kyle Mays, he'll move up to seventh position, third out of pits. Joseph Wright, the 82. Logan Hagerman there in the number seven. Mark Shavers in the 15. He'll round out our top 10. Carl Burke, TJ Floyd. Big damage to the rear end of TJ Floyd's car. Not sure where that come from, but a major dent in the back of that. Number 49, Camaro. Nick Mather, he's 13th. Cameron Austin is uh, 14th. Devin Bacino, he'll round out the top 15. Through our championship four right now. James Kunkel stayed out. Colin Willems is in fourth, right behind James Kunkel in third. Kyle Mays is seventh. And Logan Hagerman is in ninth. So all four of our championship contenders are in the top ten. Right now, Derek Chaput is the man out front, the number 37. Trying to play spoiler and win this championship race. Get ready to go green. Lights off the pace car. We will go double file. 14 laps in. Of 70. The 
35 of Will Witt, one of the winningest drivers in the Pelican Snowball Super Speedway Series. He's up there on the outside. So the top four are 12 laps shorter than everyone else on fuel. That includes two championship contenders, James Kunkel and Colin Willems. So if this thing goes green for a while, it's going to be interesting. To see where all this strategy lands up. And you can see it right there. The difference in the laps. 13 laps versus one for everyone else. My team may have had some sort of issue. He'll get back going. Let's take a quick look at the 81 of Josh Hall. I believe he took his fast repair there. So Josh Hall already down a fast repair 14 laps in. When would leader choose to go? It's on Derek Chapu. Green flag once again here at Talladega. Logan Hagerman pushing, trying to get the outside lane rolling. These cars moving quick now. They are all up to speed, thundering by. Will Witt will take the lead from Derek Chapu. Colin Willems now on the outside trying to get ahead. The 84 giving him a push, Dave Wright. Can't quite get him out front of the 35 right now. Trying his best. Colin Williams will lead that one, but not enough room to get down in front of the 35. You know, that's what he's wanting to do is to get down in front of the bottom lane. Colin Willems of our championship four, he is the winningest Driver, three wins. And down on the inside, Will Witt also has three wins, but did not make it to the championship four. So we know both these guys know how to get it done.
Right now, the 84 just not able to push the 17 as hard as he wants to. Must be getting hot behind the 17. There goes James Kunkel to the out, outside line in front of the 17. He's trying to move up to the lead. Colin Wilms now trying to push James Kunkel. Both these guys running for a championship. They're having to help each other right now to stay ahead of Logan Hagerman. Third car on the inside line. Our other championship contender, Kyle Mays, currently sits in ninth position, just trying to bide his time, waiting for his opportunity to get up here and try and sneak a win. Of the championship four, Kyle Mays, the only one without a win, has been a consistent all year long. Got some guys trying the third lane. The 52 of Cody Moore trying to get one of his laps back. He was having a connection issue earlier. Took five laps trying to get a fix. And he goes into the outside wall. Cars wrecking everywhere. Huge wreck. A lot of damaged race cars. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Kyle Mays involved one of our championship contenders. See if we can find a closer view. 52 up there on the high lane. ED2 of Joseph Wright giving a push, and the 52. Not sure if he the push moved him to the inside or if he went to the inside. Not sure on that one. He may have this push, this bump draft may have shoved him to the left. Just not room for him to get in there. I know that much. And then just absolute calamity. And he hits the wall. Take a look at the 55. Oh, a lot of damage to the 55. Fifty-three hits the wall very hard. So here's our championship contender, Kyle Mays, involved in this wreck. Nick Mather comes down in front of him. As he got knocked down there. And as he's trying to get it together, clips him on the front, sends them all back up the track. Big damage when they get up to the top. Three different cars hit him. And the outside wall. So no rear bumper for the 55. Let's take a look at this one more time. We can figure out just what happened to the 52. They were certainly making time up on the outside. He was trying to get laps back. I believe he was five laps down. Yeah, it looks like uh, he had lifted a little bit as the 84 moved up and the 82 gets into the rear bumper and sends him to the left and just chaos. The 53 goes flipping cars absolutely everywhere
So the live view back going. James Kunkel is our leader. Will Witt down on the inside. Colin Willems in third. Derek Chaput in fourth spot. Dave Wright in fifth. Logan Hagerman in sixth. The three of our championship four in the top six. Josh Hall, Tony Brennan, Mick Olofsson, Cameron Austin. They'll round out the top ten. Steve Loving with a nice bounce back up to 11th. And here's Kyle Mays. Had to take his fast repair. But he'll come back out of the pits in a lineup 17th on the restart. So Kyle May is going to have to be extra careful until the end of this race as we're about a third of the way through. more guys coming in to top off with fuel. I think these guys are wanting to get to the rear of the field and just let the chaos happen and avoid it as they go through. All the intensity cars in except for the 84. So our top four still yet to pit. They've been out there 22 laps on this tank of fuel. So they're going to have to pit before long. I think they just want to be in front of all this mess that they see in the rear view mirror. Very talented racers all around them up front. We're about to get back going. The 48 shows the outside line. Tells me that he may choose to go early. Try and drop down in front of the 35 of Will Witt. We'll see. There he goes, 48. Green flag for James Kunkel. And he will immediately drop to the inside line in front of the 35. Trying to get the field spread out a little bit. That worked. Will Witt takes several along with him and heads to the outside line. Eighty-four tries to save with the forty-eight. Colin Williams will drop to the inside quick though. Puts a nose out in front of the thirty-five, and Will Witt battles back with Derek Chapu giving a big push through the trioval. And all three of the cars in the outside lane are clear. Seven Hagerman will move to the inside. The 35 stays outside. Derek Chaput will take that move too. 
They'll all clear the 17 of Colin Willems. Colin Williams now battling back. The number 17 up on the high lane. The 48 of James Kunkel. He'll get up there as well. Three of our championship four right here in the top five battling hard. Eighty four moves up, the seven goes with him. They'll both clear the thirty seven and move back to the inside line. The seventeen and the forty eight are gonna stay up there and try and take the attack to the seven of Logan Hagerman, who's out front. A big run out of turn four. Willems will take the lead. As you can see, not a lot of help in the outside lane. The 55 of Kyle Mays back here trying to play it safe. Trying to just stay out of the big pack. As he is our fourth championship contender. Already used that faster pair, trying to play it wise and avoid any other further incidents. That time, Colin Williams will lead the lap. Side by side, Todd Mays trying to jockey up on the third lane. Nobody to go with him, though. Up there all alone. He'll drop back in line. We'll see how long he stays there. Kyle Mays choose to, chooses to draft back up to the pack. Give him a little bit of room. The 84 Dave Wright pushing as hard as he can. These guys are running up on the number 46 of Zach McBride. And I'll, just a reminder on the pit strategy, we've got four guys that have been out there for 28 laps. They're going to need to pit before too long. We'll continue uh, to keep up. You see third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, all 28 laps since their last pit stop. Oh, the 84 gets up, tags the 17, but he is able to keep it out of the wall. Scary moment there for the 17. For Colin Willems. Zach McBride. Oh, making it hard on these guys. Oh, there it goes. Several cars hit the outside wall, but none of them go around as we'll continue to go green but this is going to make Kyle Mays lose the draft
He'll have to try and get drafted back up very quickly. Currently running in 13th spot if these guys get spread out. There's no telling how long before we'll have a caution. Kyle Mays out there by himself right now. These guys up front still racing hard. And the 75 goes around. I'm not sure he jumped to the pits. So something happened to the 75. Let's take a look. Oh, blew the engine. He had a lot of damage. You see that trail of smoke. And there you hear it. 75 blown engine. Was not able to make it back to the pit lane. Had to pull off and tow. These guys that have stayed out there, I think they're going to try and make it past halfway. Only about three laps until halfway. 32 laps they've been out there on fuel. Or several of those laps were under caution. Nineteen drivers still on the lead lap. Kyle Mays is seven and a half seconds behind the lead group as they have gotten a little pack back here to try and draft. And if they'll stay in a straight line and just they'll maybe able to make that time up, we'll have to see. But the ninety-five will move to the outside. They need all five cars to cooperate to try and move forward as they're continuing to lose time to the leaders. Dave Wright's move to the outside. He's trying to clear Logan Hagerman. Not going to be able to do it right there into turn one. Hagerman still holding lead on the inside. 37 of Derek Chapu has done a great job of holding him up there. Oh, the 35 goes around. The 46 gets it. The 74. Several cars in the back here. Oh, the 49 keeps it out of the outside wall, but a couple of cars stuck down on the inside. Looks like the, maybe the 74. A hard hit to the inside wall as the caution will come out. And all of those 
guys that have stayed out, they won't have to make green flag stops. Let's take a look and see exactly what happened. The 84 just comes right down into the side of the 80 or the 35 and all chaos breaks loose. Oh, the 46 hard into the inside wall. 74 nudges it with the nose. Not too bad, but the 46 gets it good. Looks like a ride with Zach McBride. Just didn't have a chance. And he was fighting for the lucky dog. I was trying to ride through this with the 84 and see what happened there on the outside line. Just don't think he realized that he was three wide. I was trying to get down below that car in front of him. So our leaders are heading down the pit lane. Everyone coming down. Here's a seven of Logan Hagerman, Colin Willems. He missed his pit stall, has to back up several stalls to get to his. That's going to cost him a lot of time. Forty-eight of James Kunkel, he's making his exit. The seven of Logan Hagerman will get out in front of him. TJ Floyd uh, first off the pit lane. Devin Bacino second. Joseph Wright third. Logan Hagerman in fourth. Josh Hall fifth. James Kunkel sixth. Michael Proval in seventh. Derek Sapu in eighth. Tony Brennan ninth. Cameron Austin will round out your top ten. And right behind them, Colin Willems and Kyle Mays, eleventh and twelfth, as they are championship contenders. Let's see if we can get a word with one of these championship contenders. Logan Hagerman is in fourth. He's led a lot of laps. Let's see if we can get a word with the number seven of Logan Hagerman. Hey, Logan, this is Dakota in the broadcast booth. You got a copy? I got you, Dakota. Man, you're out there. You're leading a lot of laps. I kind of thought you guys would be playing it more safe, but all three or four of you are, are all up there running hard for the win. Is that the strategy to try and lead every lap? Yeah, I'm just going hard every lap. I want to be out front. And uh, I feel like if you drop to the back, play conservative, you can still get in a wreck. So I'd rather be up front. Yeah, that's probably the best strategy. What do you think your chances are? I mean, you look fast. You look like you brought a hot rod tonight. I'm feeling really good about it. Um, Colin's really strong, though. So I think he's probably my biggest competitor out here. But uh, I'm, I'm th feeling pretty good about it. Absolutely. Well, we know Grandma Hagerman's rooting for you. Good luck tonight. No, thanks, Dakota. That was Logan Hagerman. Championship contender leading right now of the four in fourth position. James Kunkels in sixth. The 17 of Colin Williams in 11th spot. Kyle Mays, he comes back down to top off. And he'll sit in 14th position right now. We'll see where he comes out of the pits. But. These guys getting doubled up, ready for another restart. TJ Floyd is your leader. The good looking number 68 on the outside, Devin Bacino. The neon racing forward. The 
TJ Floyd, he's he's a very good super speedway racer. Has had some bad luck throughout the season. Hasn't gotten a win yet, but we know he's capable of it. He's sitting out there in the front right now. 39 laps down. We're going to have 31 laps to go when we go green. So a couple of new names we haven't had up here tonight. T.J. Floyd, Devin Bacino, they'll be the front row. A little pit strategy moves them up there. Michael Provaltz moved up to seventh spot in that number 95. So we'll see how these guys fare up here in the pack as everyone's been slicing and dicing for the lead. Green flag. Devin Bacino out front. Logan Hagerman right behind him. Hagerman's going to stay in the outside line. Bacino trying to hold off the outside. He'll move back up into the outside lane. And everyone just abandoning TJ Floyd in the bottom lane. Hagerman's now side by side for the lead with Bacino in the bottom lane. Kunkel in the 48 right behind that 68. And Logan Hagerman's going to clear him. He and the 37 will move to the inside line. And the outside line is, is pretty much non-existent at this point. 77 with some nose damage. It's going to be difficult for Will Witt to try and push the 77 of Cameron Austin up there all by himself. Here comes both the 68 and the 48. And now the outside lane starting to form. The 17 of Colin Willems is trying to make a move up through there. Hagerman in the lead, the 37. Such a good pusher in the bottom lane. Derek Chapu doing his best to hold that seven out front. Hagerman continues to stay up there. The outside lane is losing a little momentum. The 48 of James Kunkel is in a fifth spot. Colin Willems has moved his way up to eighth. And at the very end of this field, this big pack, Kyle Mays, as he is taking the opposite strategy of everyone else, trying to play it safe as he has already used his fast repair. Hagerman doing a great job of staying in front of Bacino in the outside line. They haven't quite built up enough steam to really make a 
real attack against the 7 and the 37. They've gotten a nose out front a couple of times, but haven't gotten close to clearing the 7 to get down to the inside. And that is putting a lot of pressure on the 48 of James Kunkel to keep that car cool and keep the 68 pushed and going forward. Hagerman, so strong, continues to lead. We're coming down to the final 25 laps. Inside line just has such strength. Colin Willems has moved down to that inside line. And only three cars now still up in the outside. And that's difficult for Kunkel because if he pushes the 68 into the lead, then he's gonna kind of be out there by himself. That time, Shapu had to dip out for air. That's going to give the 68 a run on the outside. Can he clear? Not enough. The 68 stays up on the high lane. And Shapu single-handedly holding the 7, even with the 68. Hagerman's still out front. Pacino can't get around. James Kunkel trying his best in the 48 to get him out ahead of the seven and try and get his nose into clean air. Colin Williams has bounced back from the inside line to the outside line. Can't find the spot that he wants to be. Neither line moving forward. guys jockeying left and right all down the back straightaway Kyle Mays starting to move up a little bit trying to get in this fight Hagerman still out front. Nobody has anything for him and Derek Chapu right now. Kunkel continually having to dip the nose out and keep it cool as he's pushing the 68 as hard as he can.
Still side by side all the way through. See the 68 trying to get down and get a side draft and get a run off the corner, but it's just not been enough. That time he's got a good run. Can he clear him? Pacino to the bottom. He jumps down there in front of the seven of Logan Hagerman. And that will breathe new life into the outside lane, especially for James Kunkel as he is now leading. And it's side by side with the seven for a championship coming down to the final 20 laps. And now it's on Logan Hagerman to not let anybody else down in front of him. It's a lot easier to win this race from second car in the inside lane than the third or the fourth. Let's see if he moves to the outside. Not clear yet. He's going to try and push the 68 ahead and then move in front of the 48 to make a run. He's clear. Will he make the move to the outside? He is right on that 68 pushing. Hagerman's done such a fantastic job. He looks to the outside, but can't make the move. Will he move up this time in front of the 48? There he goes, he moves up. Will Kunkel stick with him or try and take it three wide? He'll try to shuffle him out. Nobody goes with the seven. He's stuck in the middle. The high lane's got two championship contenders out there as well. Hagerman staying strong in the middle. Nobody moving up to push him. Forty-eight finally moves down. They're losing too much time on the outside lane. The seven of Hagerman will now push the forty-eight. The forty-nine of TJ Floyd will jump up. This time Hagerman leaves the forty-eight hanging. Hagerman and Willems to the middle lane. Pacino still out front. Hagerman trying to push TJ Floyd out into the lead. And Kunkel has dropped all the way back to 13th. He'll try and get back down into the inside lane. He's got a lot of work ahead of him now to try and get back up with the 7 and the 17. And TJ Floyd will clear. And he'll move to the inside, the seven of Hagerman now out front on the outside lane, the 17, another championship contender right behind him.
Conkle's trying to make a move. He's up trying to look at the third lane, but it's just not there. Hagerman's out front, but he's going to stay in front of the 17. No, he now moves to the inside. Side by side, not only for the race win, but for the championship. Hagerman and Willems, 1-2 right now. They are in our final four. Fifteen laps remain. Willems is out front. Todd Mays is pushing as hard as he can. James Kunkel's moved back up to ninth position. Fifth car in the outside line. Kyle Mays trying to get up into this pack now as we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Kyle Mays going to have to move up and take a shot at a championship here. the seven of Hagerman gets shuffled into the middle again. This time Derek Chapu, the 37, will go with his friend Hagerman. In the middle line, Nick Mather a little close. Up on the high side, we've got a couple crash. There they go. It looks like the 48 may have been. No, he gets through. Not sure if he got any a little damage on the right rear. We'll take a look at what happened. Yeah, the 48, he does get a little bit of damage. Yeah, the 16 of Mather comes down into the 37. And Shapu, a hard hit up with the 16. A little net code there. You see it between the 37 and the 48. Right there. As they really didn't hit, but net code... I think the 48 would have made it through otherwise. So some damage on the right rear and the left side of the 48. Look at uh, 55. Did he make it through? Chaos all in front of him. He does a good job of just slowing down, letting them wreck. So Kyle Mays will make it through. We'll take a look here at James Kunkel's car. You see the right rear damage, a lot of spoiler damage. It may not affect him a whole lot. Some left front hood damage as well on the 48. He may come in here and take a fast repair. We'll see if he's got one left. James Kunkel stops in his pit stall, and there's the fast repair. 12 to go. The 48 takes his only fast repair of the race. So he'll have a fresh car, four tires. He's going to try and drive his way through the field. We'll see where he comes. Out of pit lane, he will be in a 14th position. On the 52 and the back of the 46. Wonder what that stemmed from. As these guys, the 52 right into the back of the 46 under caution. Looks like the 52's wheel was already turned, so some damage. 
Looks like these guys may have wrecked earlier. Not sure. Let's take a look. Right here. This was just before the caution. Oh, and the 30 and the 46 kind of touching up into the 52. The 52 not happy with the 46 after that one. And uh, runs him down. It was the next lap, but he, he took a swipe at him, that's for sure. We're getting ready to go green. James Kunkel. He's 14th. Colin Willems is our leader. So our championship fours, we're going to be going green with 10 laps to go. Colin Willems is our leader in the number 17, Kyle Mays and Logan Hagerman. Logan Hagerman is in fifth, Kyle Mays sixth on the outside of him. So Kyle Mays playing it safe, but now is going to try and go for it here in the final 10 laps. And James Kunkel involved in that last incident had to take his fast repair. He will restart in 14th. Top finisher of those four will take home the Pelican Snowball Championship trophy. Colin Williams controlling the restart. You have to think that right now he's the favorite. Is everyone else going to have to go through traffic to get to him? Willems goes early, green flag. The 49 will drop to the inside. We see the seven and the five get close. Willems goes early to try and get everyone single filed out. It looks like those old tandem car racing days of about a decade ago. So we're trying to everybody to get back into a line. Nobody's up on the outside. Somebody's going to have to get up there and go. James Kunkel's trying to get caught up to the pack. Oh, the 68 thought about it. Couldn't go. Kyle Mays is pushing the 15 to Mark Shavers hard. He'll have to get the 15 clean. Logan Hagerman comes up to the outside line. He's going to try and get behind Kyle Mays. Side by side for the lead. Mark Shavers with the nose out front. Colin Willems on the inside. Oh, Mark Shavers! Was it clear? Moves to the inside on a huge incident. 
championship implications. The 17 has blown an engine. Not sure if it's all the way blown, but it's definitely smoking. He's going to have to get that thing to pit road. And there's the 48 who had just taken his fast repair. Major damage and out front is the 55 of Kyle Mays who had stayed clean this whole race back in the back. He makes it through unscathed. Logan Hagerman will make it through with a clean race car. Let's go back. As this one is a major one. And you see the 15 there. It's not clean or not clear. The 17 had a bumper alongside of the 15, which he was never clear. Oh, so the, yeah, he comes right down on the 17. There's just no other way to frame it. 68 into the rear, and that may take the 17 of Colin Williams out of the championship chase. James Kunkel tried so hard, and that 15 again down the track. Not a lot of damage for the 48. I think he can salvage something out of it, but it's going to be difficult. Oh, there was a little more damage and some more damage, so... This right here is teamwork as the 35 of Will Witt is pushing the 17 into the pit lane. That is true teamwork right there as the 17 has blown his engine. And you can hear it's not running at all. Forty-eight trying to get some damage repair. There's the seventeen. Did not have to tow, so a big help from the thirty-five. As Colin Williams is going to have another shot at this thing. Kyle Mays out front. Don't see Kyle Mays in the Discord. Try and get a word with him, and maybe we'll try next time. Colin Willems, he'll move up. Maybe we can get a word with 10th place Colin Willems. Hey, Colin, this is Dakota on the broadcast booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. What's going on? Hey, man, involved in an incident there, but uh, you still got some time. A fresh race car. Uh, can you make it back up to the front and uh, win this thing? Well, that's the plan. Um, what are we going to have? We're going to have, what, four or five to go? Uh, who knows? Fresh car, fresh tires. You know, I'm definitely going to try it. Yeah, big uh, saving grace from the 35 there. Uh, it looked like your engine blowed. Is that what happened? Yeah, it blew up on the back stretch, and uh, he ended up spinning me out trying to push me, but we got her corrected back then on the apron, and he pushed me all the way. So, uh He's the MVP for sure. Yeah, I saved you from going a lap down. You, you've got a, a good shot at this thing. I think that uh, you're still a favorite to get up there because we know that you're uh, the one of the winningest drivers here in this league. So uh, good luck, and hopefully you can pull this thing off, man. Thanks, buddy. Hope to be talking to you shortly. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Good job. So Colin Willems. 
Got the mindset ready to go. Lights are off the pace car. We're going to go green with five laps. We're going to have a five lap shootout. The top two on the front row, Kyle Mays and Logan Hagerman, are fighting for a championship. On back, the 48 of James Kunkel. He is right there, a damaged race car. But sitting in 10th position. He still got a shot at winning this. Colin Willems is in 11th. And these two may have to work together to try and get up to the other two for a shot at the championship. Pace cars off for what could be the final restart. Green flag for Kyle Mays. He'll get out front. The 68 of Devin Bacino right behind the 55. Everyone escapes from the outside lane, but the 82 trying to push the seven into the lead as they go down the back stretch. Can he clear the, the, uh, the uh, Kyle Mays? He will. He'll move to the inside. Logan Hagerman to the lead. Kyle Mays in second. It may be a two-car race. As the other guys have kind of dropped off. 48 of James Kunkel back here. Trying to move forward. Colin Williams is behind him. Colin with a big run. He'll take it to the outside. He's trying to catch the front pack. Logan Hagerman is out front. Kyle Mays moves to the outside line, but the 82 is teammates with the seven. Looks like he may have chosen not to push the 55. Does anybody have anything? For the seven, the 17 of Colin Williams is taking it three wide. He's getting to run all by himself up there, side drafting. He's going to need help to get it done. He and the 55 door to door. Oh, they touch. It's just not going to be enough for Colin Williams with no help. The 55 of Kyle Mays is going to get out there. Now they've got a two-car tandem on the outside. Colin Williams moved to the inside. and Oh, another car goes around to the 17. A hard nose into the outside wall. And that's going to be it for Colin Willems. The championship goes up in smoke for the number 17. Let's take a look at what happened on the inside lane. The 30 gives the 27 a shove. Moves him up a little bit, it looks like. As he's bump drafting through the corner. Gives him a push and then just tags him. Then the left rear sends Steve Loving around. 
and the 30 back up the racetrack. The 17, oh, just a hard nose to the wall. That car, a lot of damage. James Kunkel able to make it through without any more damage, but... He's already got quite a bit. So Logan Hagerman is our leader. Kyle Mays sits fourth. It looks like Kyle Mays has a little bit of right rear damage. Not sure if it come from that incident or not. Let's take a look at the 55 and see if he got some damage in this that we may have missed. He's that car up in the outside lane. Oh, right there. Just gets ticked into the wall. Let's see this from the inside of the 30 car. And see what he saw. So some rear damage for Kyle Mays and Logan Hagerman taking the position of just staying out front and trying to keep the car clean. And he has done that by leading on almost every lap. He's led so many laps tonight. You see just how many cars are left. Not many. The Logan Hagerman has kept his car clean from the beginning. I think maybe now we can get a word with the 48 of James Kunkel. Let's see what James has to say. Hey, James, this is Dakota in the broadcast booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, looks like you got a little bit of damage, but uh, do you think you've got a shot at this one? It's Talladega. I guess I'm on the track, still got a shot, but I don't know how bad the damage is. I know I, I did a couple cars, but uh, I mean, who knows? We've seen crazy things happen. I'm going to give it all my gut. I'm going to give it all I got. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty chaotic out there, so uh, certainly still have a chance just trying to avoid the spinning race cars when they go in front of you. Yeah, I was... Uh, I hate to happen to call him, but I was rooting for a yellow pretty hard back here. I lost the draft, so uh, try to keep it tucked in and see if we can make something happen last last turn or so. All right, well, good luck, James, and hopefully we'll be talking to you here in about two laps. Thank you. So as we go double file, Logan Hagerman will have the advantage as he'll be the control car. Cars trying to get caught back up, having to take their fast repair. Steve Loving, he's had an up and down night. Got shuffled out of the draft early. Looks like he'd already used his fast repair. There's quite a bit of damage on that race car, but he had moved back up there and was fighting for a win. Devin Bacino in the 68. He has kept his car up there relatively clean. Looks like a little bit of nose damage on the 68. Not sure if that's from pushing or what that's come from. The 
Three of our championship contenders remain all in the top six. Logan Hagerman, our leader, he'll be the control car. He'll choose when to go. Green flag. Kyle Mays staying on the outside line behind Bacino. Kunkel's right there. He's got some damage, but he can still make moves. Kyle Mays to the inside. Now all three championship contenders are on the bottom. And this is exactly what the seven of Logan Hagerman wants to see. No outside lane to contend. Green flag for Logan Hagerman on the white flag lap. So this one will be the end of it. Kunkel trying to stage a charge at 48, trying to give a push. Can it be enough? The 84 is going to move up and try and block the 48. The 48 maintaining the run. The 68 giving a huge push. The 7 of Hagerman will block. Oh, they spin the 48 sideways. Here comes Kyle Mays through the middle. James Kunkel will go spinning. Kyle Mays is going to make it through, and he's going to win the championship with Tony Brennan taking home the win. James Kunkel will end up third, and Logan Hagerman still spinning. What a finish. As we had pretty much given up. On the 55 of Kyle Mays, he will be your champion. We'll try and look at this from the blimp cam as we can try and get a better view of what all happened here at the end. We'll see the 7 move up to block. The 48 gets a big run. The 7 moves up to block. The 48 takes that run to the outside, and then he... I'm not sure if he tried to go to the inside or what happened, but he and the 68 touch, maybe. The 48 nut hits the 7, spins him around, and the C's part for the 55 and the 65 as they go right through the middle, and Kyle Mays will take home the championship. And Tony Brennan doing donuts in the infield. He'll win the season finale. We'll see if we can get a word with third place finisher James Kunkel. Hey, James, this is Dakota on the broadcast booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, man, a fantastic run there at the end, but just wasn't quite enough. The seven, a big block and, and a huge crash there at the end. But you come home third, uh, second in the championship. Uh, what do you got to say after this race and uh, after this season and uh, a good one for you? Yeah, I had a ton of fun. Uh, I got to thank Devin there trying to push me and. I thought for one second we might have had it there, but Logan threw the block like he had to. I just, uh, yeah, I hate that it ended like that. Congrats to Kyle for the title, but had a lot of fun this year. Uh, had a lot of good runs. Got a win. Got a lot of top fives, top threes. So all in all, I'm not too, I'm not too upset. 
Yeah, and, and hopefully we'll see you back next season, and maybe you can take another stab at this thing. That's the plan. I'll be back. Uh, Got to defend something, so I appreciate everything. Well, we appreciate you. You got anybody you'd like to thank here at Season's End? Uh, thank you for broadcasting this all year. Uh, you did great. Going back and watching these are awesome. Uh, I got to thank Dylan for putting it together. Uh, I got to thank Pelicans for all they do for the series. And uh, had a lot of fun, made a lot of friends. Uh, got to thank Logan, Colin, and Kyle for having fun. Final Four. There's some other guys that deserve to be there too. So just had a lot of fun. It was fun. All right, we appreciate you, James. It was certainly exciting there. Uh, you up in the third lane and uh, just come up a little bit short, but uh, congratulations on a great season. Thanks. All right, we're trying to see if anyone else is in the room. Not seeing anyone. I'd like to get a word with our champion. There he is. Hey, Kyle, this is Dakota in the broadcast booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Man, there at the end, well, throughout the whole race, we've seen you kind of get back, especially after you had to use that fast repair early and just kind of try and save the car. And then there at the end, you come star storming to the front. And there on the last lap, they all wreck in front of you, the C's part, and you, and you come home second place and, and the series champion. Uh, what do you have to say after this race? I'd rather be lucky than good, is all I know, because that was, that was luck. Because I was tore up. I was trying to push Buccino, and I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't go fast enough to stay with him there. So I was just doing all I could do. Yeah, the incident earlier... Like I said, we kind of saw you fade to the back. Was that the plan? Just try and save the car and then uh, last 10 laps, just try and go for it? Yeah, it, it really wasn't to start off. I was wanting to stay up there with those guys, but I don't know what happened on that first incident. We were like four wide on lap 10 for some reason. So once I got messed up, I just had to stay back there in the back. And uh, I actually had, on one of them cautions, I pitted two or three times there trying to stay in the back. And uh, on that one caution where everybody pitted, I just stayed out, and I think I restarted like sixth. So, yeah, we you did a great job, uh, even with the damaged race car, just staying with it. And when they go wreck, and uh, you avoided it, so a great job. You got anybody you'd like to thank after uh, not only a great race but a great season and a championship for you, Kyle? I just uh, I like to thank uh, uh, Dylan for putting this on. I mean, it's just fun. The Super Speedway stuff's fun. Learn a lot, and uh, appreciate you for doing this broadcast. You're really, you're really good at this. Oh, thank you, man. And uh, you're really good at these Super Speedways. You come home our champion. Great job, Kyle. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back next season to defend this title. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yep, have a good one, man. And that was our champion... And don't see Tony Brennan in, in the waiting room. So Tony Brennan, he gets the win there at the end. So a great job to him driving through that final crash. Let's see if we can go back and see this final lap. There was a lot went on. Here we go. We see the 84 try to give a block to the 68 and the 48 down the back stretch. Forty-eight moves up. And they start getting a big run. The 65 kind of gets up there and helps a little bit. There's the 84 with the block, but he leaves Logan down there with no help. 
That allows them to get a big run through the corner. And even with a, a busted up rear bumper, man, Devin Pacino with a fantastic push. Then the all goes spinning. The 65 makes it through. Kyle Mays makes it through. And he is your Pelican Snowball Super Speedway Series champion for season one. Uh, it, won't, it won't be long. I think end of October we'll be going back for season two. So I appreciate everybody for uh, stopping by and watching these races. And uh, we will see you all at the next one Saturday night. It'll be Truck Series for SERL. And Sunday will be Cup Series for SERL. And uh, we hope that you'll join us. We appreciate uh, everybody for, for watching and sticking with us. And a great season for Kyle Mays and the rest of these guys. And, and like I said, we will catch you all next time.